Hi everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back together again doing a video for you guys. So we kind of just wanted to quickly discuss how we do our grocery shopping, how we do our food hauls um, when we're living together here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yeah, so um, obviously back in the West, uh, supermarkets are pretty big and stores where you get um, everything in one place. Uh, here it's a little bit different. Although they do have supermarkets, we find that the fresh stuff is always best to get from the markets as usually in the supermarkets or the, the small sort of markets it's um, the prices are very inflated uh, designed for westerners and convenience and stuff like that so yeah so what I tended to do when I was living back in Canada I had um, my routine of doing grocery shopping a food haul once a week so one day of the week I'd pick and I'd go out and I'd do all of my shopping that I needed to get to get done so that would include all the fresh stuff like fresh veggies and fruits um, and if I needed to I would have to go to a different grocery store or a different food market to get what I needed so that I'd have that for the week however being here um, we don't really have as much of a structure as what I had back home but it seems to be working really really well so here um, we need to get our fresh fruit and our fresh veggies from little markets like the market just around the corner from us and then we typically do that a few days a week actually so whenever we realize we're running out of fresh stuff mm -hmm. we kind of just zip over there it's like a five or ten minute walk from our apartment and we just get what we need and that's it um, but there's a few other things we get from macro um, like a big grocery store, store if you don't know it, it's like a Costco um, and we get most of our bean, dried beans from there we get our oats from there um, raisins raisins nuts, nuts. Uh, yeah and I guess, I guess we get our, um, stuff like uh, toothpaste and yeah, yeah so like non-food items yeah, non, too as non well food items household stuff yeah so I mean it was the same for me as well I'd just go to Tesco for my uh, packaged goods and then I'd go to Audi for um, fresh stuff. But yeah, so here we, 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 we also go and get sweet potatoes as well from the big from the large mm. market. Um, so we, we usually go there once a week for sweet potatoes. Um, then, yeah, what else do we do? Just, so I basically yeah. wanted to mention that there's a few things that we get which are a few times a week and there, there, there's a few things we get that are once a week and then there's a few food items that we get that are a once a month kind of thing so mm -hmm. we get like a big haul of them so for instance like our once of a month thing what we try and do are the beans oh, and the oats yeah. um, and then once a week would be um, a big what is it 10 kilos of sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes yeah. which would last us a week um, and then a few times a week like I said we do the fresh uh, fruits and veggies and that seems to be working out really well yeah. and I still can't believe how really truly inexpensive it is to uh, to, to buy uh, food here compared to uh, Canadian prices it's insane and the same with uh, England as well uh, with the exception of uh, canned beans uh, canned beans are very uh, inexpensive over in the UK uh, whereas here the very inflated prices so we find ourselves always having the dried beans here but it's, it's not it's not a problem at the end of the day because we just use the slow cooker don't we yeah it works out perfectly yeah so yeah um what, what else we don't have to get anything else do we really we that's just... pretty much it yeah um we actually both of us agree and we both i don't know simply love eating a very simple and easy kind of diet and it just happens to be the most inexpensive diet as well because we buy our beans dry we buy oats some um, all our staple foods they're really really inexpensive and luckily here the fruits and veggies if they're local they're really inexpensive as well so we eat a really cheap diet and we keep it really simple mm -hmm. but it's still very delicious and we keep a good variety of foods in our diet as well yeah and also we we make sure that we take uh, backpacks and uh on our bikes so so we do all mm, we, we don't yeah. just go in a taxi and turn up and do a big haul we i have a, a very giant backpack donor and then you have a, a sort of normal size backpack yeah and then usually we load me up with like like a like you know like a workhorse or something <laughs> with like 10 20 kilograms of uh potatoes and all sorts of things and then you will normally have like the greens and the mixed vegetables and stuff like that in, in your backpack and uh, the, the more sort of leafy sort of light stuff and then we'll both have our backpacks full um, and then we'll, we'll try and usually get as much as we can as well won't we we'll uh, try and get every, literally fill our backpacks as up much as we can fit in at the time can. 
See, yeah, see, that's something I did differently in Canada. Um, even though I was still riding my bike around, um, when I did my grocery shopping that one day a week, I would drive my car. Mm -hmm. And I do a big grocery ca grocery haul and put everything in my car and then bring it home. But here, we're, our main source of transportation is, besides walking, it's riding the bike. That's what we, we're doing here all over the place, riding the bike. So um, that's why some of these things um, we'd have to do once a month or once a week because it's on the bike and we can only carry so much with us in our backpacks, right? But also it's a bonus as well because it's cost effective. Absolutely. Because we don't have to pay gas, we don't have to pay taxi or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's just literally our, our, our own power and our time that is has taken us to ride there or whatever. And let's be honest, it's more fun, isn't it? It's more it? fun, yeah. It's we, we enjoy more enjoyable, together. yeah. And yeah, we, we, we're just riding along together, chatting and um, you know, it's, it's like a little adventure for us every time, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah, that's, so that's basically um, what we get and when we get it and how we get it. So that is pretty much what we do for grocery shopping or food hauls. Um, I think we touched on everything, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Just the, the main thing for us is the beans, really, and that's, that's once a month. Yeah. Beans and sweet potatoes. <laughs> the rest is just uh, a nice bonus, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's everything for today then. If you guys liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're new here to either of our channels, don't forget to subscribe for more because we post videos to help you live a healthy vegan lifestyle. We'll see you next time. See you, everyone. Bye.